guys, it's me, your girl, Anita, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I decorated my front porch for summer 2019. Now, although I like to use a lot of uh, neutral colors within my home, I wanted to use uh, pops of color on the outside and on my front porch where it being um, in the garden, the flower garden that my husband planted with all these beautiful colorful flowers and just in some of the accessories that I used on the front porch. You guys know that I'm all about less is more so uh, I don't have a whole bunch of stuff going on but it's just right for us. But anyway, I'm also gonna be doing this video in collaboration with two of my YouTube friends. One being Decorating with Barbara who I've collaborated with several times and the other is Angelic Interior Designs by Chanel. They're gonna be giving you some additional ideas of how you can deco decorate your outdoor spaces for this summer um, and the videos that they're doing so I will link their videos down below in the description box so after you watch my video you can go on ahead and watch their videos as well but yeah guys let's go ahead and get into this video and let's get to work and let me show you how I decorated my front porch for summer 2019 okay so before we get down to the nitty-gritty I'm gonna show you guys what the porch looks like now I am going to be keeping these flower planters but that bucket is going to be used for some scrubbing this furniture here on the porch y'all this stuff is so old I've had this stuff for like over 10 years these ferns I purchased at Lowe's and I'm going to hang them up along the porch but I think they're absolutely gorgeous and yeah I'm just looking forward to making this look really cozy so here's an overview of the items that I'm going to be using I've been buying these over the past few months so I did not buy all the stuff at one time I was picking up things here and there but I absolutely love everything that I purchased these rocking chairs I got at Walmart and I bought two of them and I got them for like 60 something dollars and they're really really nice and look at these pillows these pillows are so gorgeous I got them from Lowe's yes Lowe's y'all don't sleep on Lowe's because Lowe's be coming through this mat right here, I got this at Target because you guys know I can't decorate without Target. These lanterns here, I got on sale at Pier 1 along with that green table back there. And these two imitation topiaries, I got these from the at-home store along with this star that I will be replacing with the one on my front porch. Then this beautiful little flag here, I got this from Pier 1 also because yes, welcome to my garden. And the final item I want to show you guys is this nice welcome sign that I purchased from Hobby Lobby at 50% off of course. So before we start removing everything off the porch, I just want you to see, look how dirty these railings are. I can't put nice new stuff on here with this all dirty like this. So you know we got to do a clean with me and clean this up right quick. Let's go ahead and get busy y'all. So this is where my handy dandy assistant aka my hubby comes in to help me out and we're just going to move everything off the porch and start with a clean slate. So now that everything's been moved, hubby's just going to start blowing any excess debris off the porch and now we can start washing off the railings to get them nice and clean. And look at him here playing games, see? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> You guys know that saying, teamwork makes the dream work? Well, it's 100% true. So 
so now that we're pretty much done scrubbing down this porch which took forever now it's time to get to some fun stuff and install some decor I ordered these lanterns from Josh and Maine I ordered one for each side of my garage and then one for the front porch and I abs absolutely love them and as you can see this is what the glass looks like it's sort of like a weather type glass I like it sort of like a bevel glass I guess you'd call it and then this is what it all looks like put together I really like it and I think it's gonna look great so here Lonnie's just taking down the old light and then we're gonna work on putting up the new one So now that the lamp is up, now it's time to put the chairs together. So that's what we're doing here. So now that the chairs are put together, it's time to start moving everything into its place. So we're just adding a little table and then we're putting up the ferns. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I'm going to put up my new star. Let me take these stickers off first. Now I'm going to add these pillows. I love these pillows so much. Now I'm just going to add the topiaries on each side of the door. Everything I'm going to do on one side, I'm going to do on the other because I want everything to look nice and symmetrical. You guys know I'm all about symmetry. And let me add my doormat. And look how well the colors in the mat go with the trees and the lanterns. It just looks so good and ties it all together. But the last thing I have to add is I have to add candles to my candle holders because they can't be sitting there looking empty. And here we're just adding the pots back to the porch and blowing off any extra debris that might have been left. And I gotta clean my door with my wonderful Sprayway because you guys know I love Sprayway. They need to sponsor me. <laughs> and the final step is adding my flag which ties all the colors of the decor together. And now let me show you the finished product. I did order a new wind chime. It just didn't arrive in time while I was filming this video, but I do have a new wind chime coming and I guess I'll post a picture of it on my Instagram when it finally arrives. I decided to move my welcome sign over here behind the green table because I wanted to have some dark tones over on this side of the porch so that it would be some balance in between and not all these dark colors on one end but not any on the other. So it just gives it a nice even flow throughout the porch. All right, you guys, so there you have it. That's how I decorated our front porch for the summer. And I have to say, I absolutely love the space. It's nice, it's simple, and it's just a cozy place just to come and sit and enjoy a nice evening like tonight. So yeah, but don't forget to go check out Barbara's video and Chanel's video. And again, I will leave links to their videos down in the description box. Also, if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say, hey y'all, hey, I'm Anita. Welcome to my channel, welcome to the family. To all my returning subscribers, you guys know how I feel about y'all. 
Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know y'all mean the world to me. And if you happen to be stopping by and you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below, right down there, and become part of the family. Also, guys, don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I upload. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for rolling with your girl. I love y'all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.